Hey everyone, we are back in Nagaroth and I'm sending some ships up back home and we're going to pick up 4,500 men from Gareth Kala. Um, now, these people are going to be the ones that we're going to use to put down our latest rebellion that's going on here, the Salinishi Uprising. In the meantime, as you can see, we are still actually besieging the lands of the islands. Now, one of the things you can do with these islands once you take them is it gives you an extra title, a kingdom of the islands you'll be able to do. Right now you can see there's the duchy of the other island because we only have the one there now. Um, but Maybe it's something to have a look at in the future. We don't want to hold too many kingdoms. Like I say, our main goal is to get this up higher than our opponents. Now that's going to be that's going to be really difficult because this man just keeps on growing. Eighty-two thousand at the moment. Boy, oh boy, he's got two thousand two hundred retinues. So maybe we need to start saving up to work on our retinues a little bit. Now, if we can get uh, a conquest. CB on him, that would be lovely. If not, we're going to have to just go for Nagarif. Um, have these guys actually arrived though? Let's have a look. Uh, no, they've not. Where are they? Oh, it's help if I go faster than one speed. That's always handy. Right, and we're off. So um, we're sending, well, we're sending more than enough ships, hopefully, to take care of that. What I also want to do is just actually have a look at our holdings because a lot of our holdings aren't particularly good. Now, in terms of the amount of men that we can pull up ourselves, it's not overly impressive. So I would like to try and put some money towards that, in fact, what do you want? Um, yeah, quarter and Vassal, that will do. And then we'll see if there's any way for us to sort of increase opinion, which is what we've been trying to do. Um, now, any prisoners we can ransom? Yes, we can ransom Chiefess. Oh, we only get 10 gold, okay. Better than nothing. I know who you are. But, you know, we'll, we'll carry on, we'll carry on. So we're just going to watch the boats arrive in the ports. And then uh, who's going to be the right person to lead this? Well, I think we're going to go Aldafa. Can't stop thinking about all those prisoners. Yes, I can. And it's called uh, it's called being patient. I'm not going to go ahead and actually do anything like this. Get on the boats, please. Right, so these guys, let's send them all over now. And they'll be taking care of these armies. See, unfortunately, it looks like they're going to have to go through somewhere. Um... So this is where we were looking at last time. Now there's a very quick thing that we have done. There's the Warrior Cull in that one. Uh, they're here as well. The reason why I'm having a look at Warrior Cull is it's a very cheap upgrade. It's something that doesn't require a lot at all. They've already got it, which is fine. Maybe just this area would need it. But besides that, I know we own this area as well. We could get a war camp. It's not going to get too many. Weaponsmith. Uh, that increases reinforcement rate, um, but I don't think we're going to focus too much on the building aspect because we've lost quite a bit of money in the fact we had to downgrade our taxes in order to get opinion back where it should be. So we've gone ahead and we've taken care of their next piece of land. What have we got left? The Siege of Kinyupia Duck. Yes, that's right. Kinyupia Duck. Um, so that's not going to be too bad. So I think this one's actually going to make us quite a bit of money. So we might choose to hold on to this. It's going to push our demand size up and over. Now we have a temple we'll be able to give away. The castle I've commissioned in Urs has finished and its construction required less resources than originally planned. Brilliant. So we get 100 gold back. And just as we say that, um, you're surrendering. Okay, I'll accept that surrender. There we go. So as you can see, as predicted, it's pushed my vassal uh, limit, the men's size, sorry, over the top. So let's go ahead and create a new vassal. Oh, in fact, I'm pretty sure we have some people who could do that. So Temple Opinion, what have we got? In fact, let's go to here. Let's have a look in our court. Let's go to Learning. Uh, the Dairies Court here. Oh, my grandson. That'd be funny. Let's stick Guthgrook in a monastery. Um, <laughs> he would go as well. Oh, you know what? Just for, just for shits and gills. Guthgrook, congratulations. I've now, I've now sent you over there. <laughs> Is he happy about it? Of course he's not. He hates it. Uh, but mind you, it's plus 20 because we have 
technically granted in my barony. Um, we do have some cities as well. Um, I think what we're going to do is just do simple thing. Hang on, we're going to push up our vassal limit if we do that. Right, so let's create a new vassal. Oh, quite like that sigil. Tabho. You're low born, and that will do though, because I want to keep all of that. There's no point us carrying on besieging anywhere there. Let's get back in the boats and let's get the hell out of here. In fact, we might even go up and help end whatever's going on up here. So we are pretty stretched right now. We're pretty stretched for the limit of our vassal limit. I think an easy thing for us to do would be we've obviously neglected this kingdom here. That's the kingdom of Abishka. As you can see, there are a couple of provinces that we'll probably, yeah, that we've got. So what have we got? We've got Dracula, Shrostak. Okay, so let's um, transfer some vassalage. So um, there's Dracula. There we go. We'll send that over to you. That takes us down to 42. And Vindictus. Um... Why are you Vindictus? Oh, there's the other one. Shot that. He actually lights us a little bit, so I'm gonna need that. Where's Vindictus? Oh, there. Right at the top. How can I miss that one? Right, so I've given that away. I mean, it drops us down a tiny amount, not, not a massive amount. We can give away a few more pieces of land if we wanted to go ahead and do so. We don't for now. We're just focusing on getting people's opinions back where they should be. So let's just see what's causing some of the negativity. Uh, limited crown authority. Wrong government type. Foreigner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so it's not too bad. The fact that we're cruel doesn't seem to be doing a lot for us. Um, perhaps in a year's time, we'll be changing our focus. Maybe family orientated, something like that. Try and lose the cruel traits. Because we didn't start off that way. Well done, Marafi. She's uh, she's doing her best. Um, however, she could do with actually liking me more. Hmm. You know what? I'm I'm gonna change, improve diplomatic relations, and we're gonna do it. So we're gonna have my mother wife who I think will probably going to go ahead and send her a gift. Or can we? Um, no, no, hang on, we're not going to do that now. We'll have her just actually try and improve the opinion. We're going for our biggest vassals and we're trying to get as many men as we can from that. So um, we'll do it one at a time because I don't want to suffer from attrition. That's not very nice. Number two, we'll send this. Oh, we'll send them directly here, shall we? And there we go, we're off. So don't forget, we've got the additional forces as well, which we'll happily send in as well. Now let's speed things up. I've discovered another plot while we go figure. Speaking of plots, it might be an idea if we forget about... Oh no, we were scheming, sorry, wrong thing. Um, train troops, research military tech, that's all we can do. We need to get this military advancement up as much as we can before we go ahead and try and take back our homeland once again. Uh, we'll allow the duel there. It seems the province of Covernard Islands was in the process of being colonised by green skin races in this in a particular way. We have managed to eliminate most of them but some stragglers remain and cause some trouble until they disperse. Damn you green skins. How the hell did they get all the way over there? I know I put one of them in a temple but I didn't think there'd be any, any more of them. Um, Oh yeah, so here we go. This was the example of what I was saying. Now we're taking uh, Codivined Islands. You've got the Warrior Cult. And that'll improve forts. Technology will go down. You get more light and heavy, more archers. A couple of galleys. But for the sake of 14 gold, I think that is a good trade-off. So we will do that. Let's make sure there isn't anything similar in the cities or in the temple that we can do, which is nice and cheap. Unfortunately not. Can't have it all. So we're losing men there. I'm going to send you guys up just in case these 2,700 cannot beat them. Um, oh God, they're both acting like children. Oh, it's Grufflig. Um, I'm going to say you have my support. 
brilliant. Ruin from my courts has increased my sense of justice. I now lose the trait arbitrary. Excellent. So we are actually getting rid of some of these poor traits that are costing us. Cruel would probably be the next one that I would actually want to get rid of. Oh, right, okay, so we're getting rid of some of these green skins. We're doing okay. And there we go, we've engaged their armies. It's fairly even, to be honest. However, I think the quality of our troops is showing. We don't even need these guys here. In fact, we'll carry on. We'll disband in that particular area. Please go and chase them. We don't want to lose any more men. <clears throat> Now, um, I think we're probably going to have to work on getting Mother Dearest on side. Oh, there we go. We've won that. Excellent. Let's go ahead and disband the army. We'll disband once again here. Do we have any options for that warrior? No, we don't. I mean, we could start upgrading our forts because we should get an option in the future to upgrade tribal settlements. Um... No, to be honest, that's that's a long-term plan. We're not going to do that anytime soon. Let's just get all these boats back to a, a safe harbour and we'll uh, disband them from there. Um, so that's going to be another one done and dealt with. Now, we've got 297 gold right now, so I think it's best that we start investing it somewhat. Now, our truce is not going to be over just yet. So we can usurp the Petty Kingdom. Um, I think we will do that. Thank you. Cost us 50 prestige. Oh, give us 50 prestige. Cost us 100 gold. Okay. Not a worry. So we've gone ahead and we've taken that. So we've got the jewel claims we can actually push. Um, we can take Dimrina, which isn't actually too much. Or we can take some more of these lands. Hmm. I actually quite like the idea of taking some of these lands. 1200, possibly 300. Holy War for Shah. What's Shah got? You know what? I think we're going to go ahead and do this. So we're going to declare a war for Shah. Declare a war for. We've already we've just done Shah, haven't we? Yes, okay. Let me just double check. All oh, right, that's Shah. I'm with you. So let's declare a war with the closest area. Uh, we could do a de jour claim. Yeah, we'll do our de jour claim. Right, so that's two more wars underway. Um, we've also got an option up here, I think. Yeah, we can expand a little bit more. We're just trying to get what we can get. Are we still at peace with you guys? Yeah, we are. We're still stuck in that. So we've got a couple more wars going up north. That's another three. We could finally take uh, Ikatal, I think. Yeah. Oh. Or we could take the entire region here. So what's that? So 1100s. They've actually got a castle. They've got castles there. What's going on? Um, well, I think we cannot look at Gift Horse in the mouth, so we're going to go ahead and try and take all of these. Can we take anything from you guys? Japan, Parfax, Yomeka. So what have we got? So we don't have any settlements here. Well, we do, but not the sort I'm after. So I think we'll we'll save our forces, we'll go for Hexatal. So we've got some men close by, which is quite nice, Loki's men. And Loki's actually going to send them over. We're going to raise what forces we actually have here as well, which isn't too many. But they are just going to be supplementing Loki's forces. I think that should be enough, let's see. Yeah, more than enough, you guys can take care of there. Uh, Loki can go on over. And then we're just going to have a look back up north and see what we're facing up this way. So not too many at all. Is it enough for us just to take care of with our local troops? Unfortunately, it's not. We haven't had adequate time to prepare for this. 231. So rather than do that, I think we'll do what we just did a moment ago. And that's... Uh, we'll get 2,900. Um, Nereth, I'm not comfortable. Alderfar can lead them instead. 
and it should be able to take care of the majority of it. Now, how many men have they actually pulled up? Possibly up to 900. So if we pull up 90, that's probably going to be a waste. Oh, hang on, you've got 3,000. Oh yes, I forgot, we're at the end of your territory. Brilliant, that's actually closer than I remembered. So <laughs> we'll send them in. Uh, Faldian, it's not going to be you. Uh, Dexter, you can actually command them. Brilliant, so as you can see before, like I mentioned, there is a Kingdom of the Owls title, which we can do now because we do have both of these. Um, these green skins, we're working, we're working at removing it. Don't worry, don't worry. Um, so as you can see, in terms of tax, Yomlex, which is this county there, and Kamina, oh, which is right next door, they're making a fair bit of money for us. Um, places that are not, as the island we've just taken over, because obviously we've just taken it over, and it's a green skin population, go figure. And we're working our way through it, don't worry, we're working our way through it. In fact, what we might do is we might send, is anyone better? No, there's not. I think we might send you over. So, just to add to it a little bit. Ah, oh, the Kadai, just we haven't heard from them for a while. So, um, always, 4,700, they've pulled up the majority of, uh, and we've got 3,000 nearby, we've also got another 1,000. The good news is, we don't go lacking for boats. Got another 3,000, yeah, this is fine. Uh, let's send you over by land, shall we? They're on the move it looks like, so we'll actually get you moving down as well. Let's see if we can lure them into our false sense of security, shall we? They'll be with us on the 5th. In the meantime, let's keep our eye up north as well, because it's difficult to manage Empire Wars, especially when we've got another 5 of them going on the trot. Right, so they're still going right. That's not much of an issue. Let's make sure Loki's okay. Yeah, he's okay. He's actually not done too much. Have you forgotten to fight Loki? That's your problem. Let's get you down there. We can disband the fleets. We don't need the fleets. Are we still making money? We are. That's good. Perfect. Um, oh, green skins will be moved from the island. Yes, yes. Alright. Slowly, slowly getting rid of that green skins. They are so sneaky. Who would have thought they would have managed to get there? So we've got 6,000 men led by Aspirin. Uh, they're actually heading on down now. Oh, we don't want to lose the ship, so we'll send them back to a uh, safe port. And then we'll uh, get rid of them there. There we go. Go on, Aspirin. You're the man. You'll be able to take care of these guys, hopefully. Meanwhile, I have the ships landed up here. Um, they're on the way. I can see... I can see them. And we are besieging the area here. Uh... 853 and axe bags. Um, I get a feeling we might suffer from attrition. My god, so that's the citadel. Ah, <laughs> oh god. Have we done this to ourselves? That's a good question. There we go, we've won that battle. Instead of just doing that, Loki's just gonna press on, he's just gonna take care of the army of Hexatel. Oh, a couple of victories, brilliant. So we're gonna chase you guys back and we're on our way to the capital. We'll do that. Right, so what have we got in the Kadai Uprising? We've managed to beat them once, Aspirin. We're gonna send you another commander. I give her. And uh, you guys just keep chasing them. Just hunt them down, get rid of them all. So what have we got? We are still besieging, that's fine. It looks like the ships have finally arrived. Um, and we're going to send everyone on a roundabout sort of quest, but we're going to go this way in fact. On Loki, are you there yet? Just got himself another victory, wall score at 50%, hopefully he'll just be able to besiege this down straight away. What's happening Loki? Hurry up and get there, there we go. So 51, he's on the siege now, what have we got? 280, 270. Let's split in half or they're near us and we'll take both of them at once. 
actually guarantee success. Or immense failure. Oh my god, where have these guys just come from? They've managed to acquire quite a few troops, however, they don't appear to be that well trained. Um, what is the hell is happening here? Is it? It's because I've given him. <laughs> you know what? I'm, I'm fine with it. It's interesting. There we go. We've claimed the victory. Um, I think we're actually just going to go ahead and try and follow the army, try and defeat him that way. We've had another victory somewhere. Oh, it's not there. It's over with these guys, so let's keep chasing. In fact, we'll just disband you guys. Don't need a, another thousand. Still making money, which is nice. Um, what score on this one? 78%, so it should be too much longer. Oh, we've beaten the tribe in the north. Let's just finish this battle and then we'll progress with that one. There you go. They're heading back the way. I like that. Right, up north. Where are we? So we've just sieged down one of the cities. Oh, it looks like that is pretty much over. The Kadai Uprising, the revolt is over. We've won. That's it for the episode, guys. Thanks very much for sticking with the series. You know what to do. That's Razor's Thumbs. Cheers. <laughs>